another image was coming to my mind when you were talking about the cross and uh, cleansing the land. I was thinking about the new New Eden on one side, uh, but on the other side, I was thinking like, what is it in 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 some sorts of uh, in some types of animals? What is it about them that they're drawn to this negative hmm. energy or evil manifestation? And why is it always by default? It's almost like like sounds so cliche. There's always some type of uh, of birds or or the same type of animals. How come you don't see? Um, I don't know, like a dog or or a, or a, I don't know some animal that we all love. Maybe a rabbit or a hamster. How <laughs> how come you don't see or deer? How come you don't see them being drawn to these evil things? It's always wolves. It's always ravens. It's always it sounds like so cliche. So yeah. I didn't plan to, to ask you about this, but now when you're talking, like I'm thinking about this, and I have to ask you, like. Like, can we even phantom, like, phantom, phantom about, like, what is it that, 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 um, there's something that the animals can see and we cannot, or most of us cannot, and that these animals or birds in this case, they will feel drawn to some place and they would not leave. They will, in a way, harass people, you know, with their, uh, noise or whatever. So, so, so is it possible they can be drawn to evil spirits or evil energy? Uh, well, so. I have a theory and I haven't put a ton of thought in this theory, but um, there, there's something about, um, okay, so you have ordered land, you have land under God's kingdom, and then outside that is wilderness, and you have creatures who live in the wilderness, and you have domesticated creatures or peaceful creatures in the land. So the wilderness is sort of like chaos, like chaotic area, like Leviathan or Behemoth, you know, these are these are images that people have had in the ancient past about of what, like an animal manifestation of chaos, um, Leviathan. Um, some creatures are drawn to chaos. They are, they are drawn to untamed land. And I, I think spiritually untamed land can manifest to seers like Bigfoot, like Thunderbird. Thunderbird, which is a Native American um, like spiritual manifestation, like a deity. That, but as lands become more tame, these things are driven away. And I, I think that there are some creatures, hyenas, like out, you know, you hear like hyenas, right? In the Bible, you hear about like the wild beasts, that they they are just drawn to chaos, spiritual chaos. I don't mean you know, like like. So there's something to it. There's something to it. So whenever you have a home that is under demonic influence, maybe there's a principality there or a spirit. Um, I, I once, uh, okay, as an example, <laughs> we, we did a house cleansing once. Uh, my wife and I and um, a couple other people did a house cleansing. And <laughs> I, uh, the family was a mess. You know, the family was a mess, but we did a house cleansing and I was with a seer and we, we, we identified that this like spiritual power was like retreating into the attic. So we pulled the attic thing down and I climbed up and I was, you know, I was praying in tongues and, you know, the whole thing. And what I, what the Lord told me was um, that what the spirit we saw was like a guardian, like a throne guardian. It was a claw, had a claw and like a little beastly thing. And, um, and we drove it away, but but it was a guardian of of the the local drug principality over that town. So like a high order spirit who basically influenced the drug environment of that town, and uh, the power wasn't there, thankfully, because that would have been terrifying. But um, we drove the it was, and that was the throne. The throne was in that person's attic, and boy, it had just impacted everything in that house, including like cockroaches and and just you can just imagine they're just drawn to it they're dirty Ugh. you know <clears throat> excuse me so we drove that sucker we, we didn't drive the principality we we drove the throne away and it, but the principality wasn't broken how you break a principality like over drugs would be to minister to people minister to humans so like the churches would need to rise up and minister to the people who are impacted by the drugs set them free from that that deity right set them free 
um, get them under Jesus, and then that principality is broken. So that's that's how you deal with that. But um, in the meantime, the the throne left, and then so the whole atmosphere of the house changed. Like the cockroaches weren't as interested in being there anymore. For instance, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, it's weird to me. Okay, it is. It's weird to me. Uh, but but it's just that's just how things manifest. I mean, dark spirits attract dark things, right? I mean, and they're creepy. They're creepy things. They're unclean things. I don't know. It's it's strange. Doug, are you saying that cockroaches are not God's animals and God's design? God doesn't love cockroaches. I don't think God loves cockroaches. Uh, no, I think they creep him out. But no, I'm kidding. There's a place for it, and it's not in my house. The place for cockroaches are out in the woods, <laughs> you know, maybe in the dumpster, right? But not in my house, right? And so, like, some some places are just so infested, and like, well, you should just get an exterminator. But they come back. Why do they come back? Well, there's more going on than just like. There's more, maybe because we live in a mess and we don't clean. There's more. There's more to it than that, right? Maybe if you, it's weird, man. You clean your life up. You clean how you think, and next thing you know, you're like picking up stuff. You're bringing order to chaos. You know, you're something. You're putting your dishes away. You know, like my my son is a teenager. His room is chaos. But you know, and yeah, sure. If you he leaves his food, and the, eventually there's going to be bugs that come in there. But as you bring order to you know, how you live, you you clean that up. And there are you know. There's spiritual manifestations and physical manifestations. The spirit realm is a lot closer and inter intertwined with the physical than we than we pretend than we understand. Particularly as Western Americans, we, we we have a hard time understanding just how intertwined everything is. That was very good. Thank you. I will never see bugs in the same way. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm overstating it. I need to think it through some more. But there's something there. There's a principle there. Like you said, so, like crows and, you know, wolves and ugh.